and then it becomes um, five dollars a month. What is up guys, Thaddeus here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing a few alternatives to Oberlo and kind of um, just like different, my personally, the ones that I checked out. So I have four for you guys that I have picked out. I'm gonna walk through with you guys that basically are you know an alternative to Oberlo and kind of the key differences, right? So these are the four that are basically the most popular um, outside of Oberlo and um, the key differences that each one kind of like provides and the features that you know each one kind of focuses us focuses on the most. All right, so that'll be the video, guys. We're gonna jump into a quick screen share real quick. And let's get started. All right, guys, so we are now on the screen. As you can see, I'm small. But basically, guys, for this video, right, um, we're going over overload alternatives. So I'm not going to cover print on demand um, apps just because that that's not really I mean again it is technically drop shipping but for most of you you know if you are looking for overload alternatives it most likely means you're looking to find products that you aren't necessarily designing yourself um, and just find you know all different alternatives for you know quicker shipping um, different suppliers different products etc so that's why I'm not going to be covering print on demand apps in this video just because it's it's not necessarily the same kind of uh, um, area for like per se. All right. So first one that I have for you guys, right? So again, I have four of these here, as you can see in the, uh, in the tabs. And basically the first one guys is just literally called AliExpress drop shipping. Now, again, after going through, you know, almost like, like literally looking at every single drop shipping like app that, you know, is featured alongside Oberlo. Um, I kind of narrowed it down to, you know, four of my, 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 my choice basically and i uh, just keynote right guys i'm not affiliated with any of these companies so this is just literally just me looking around browsing um and kind of like like taking a look at which ones kind of offer uh different kind of features so that you guys can kind of see depending on your you know your own personal situation and what your own personal needs are which one might you know fit the bill um when Oberlo can't okay so the first one guys so this one's called aliexpress drop shipping now super quick rundown right so basically they give you a free trial of seven days and then it becomes um five dollars a month and um up basically but essentially what the key thing that i know so this one is literally just an overload basically like copied version except they do also offer um ebay and amazon product importation right so basically you know you're not only looking at say aliexpress products um you can go through ebay and amazon and you know other large retailers right so that was the key difference that i found in this one so this one might open up a few different product options for you guys um that you might you know not be able to find on aliexpress the only like the only caveat right is that like the items you search for on amazon most often um are <laughs> most likely to be the case that they are actually from you know from china and they're just doing um amazon fba basically um for those products so like again it, it's this one the key difference is again it just literally looks basically like an Oberlo in terms of what you can do um again they have a chrome extension that'll show you e-packet stuff um and then you can basically um import products from different different sites so it's not just aliexpress so, so you got alibaba dhk ebay amazon walmart um etc so it has a few more i guess um big website providers per se um but again it's again this one just looks like an overall alternative right so the next one guys is called spocket so this one's also pretty popular um pricing as you can see it says from zero dollars a month um so i'm assuming they have a free plan but the key the key feature with this one guys is that most like this one like this one focuses on finding suppliers uh, in you know popular countries so united states um you know over in europe canada asia like again like just it finds suppliers that necessarily like aren't overseas so that you don't have to have you know super lengthy shipping times right so what does that mean it means that your product selection might be a little bit less but on the flip side you can get really good shipping times and not have to worry about you know higher chargeback rates um that kind of stuff right so again with this app um again so like basically with all these apps guys they they function like very similar um just a few of them have a few key differences and pricing model strategies that are different but all in all they function basically the same they just have kind of different pain points that they're trying to basically like um uh, like please to, to, to clients like to us right so for some of you guys you guys might want faster shipping times right that might be your frustration that you just don't want to deal with customer emails asking where the product is so that's what you do um, some of you guys you know might not want to have to you know go into aliexpress even with Oberlo. say so you're not using Oberlo supply and you know you have to um, basically manually quote unquote uh, fulfill orders even though they kind of say it's an automated thing um, which it sort of is but it sort of isn't it still takes your time so there's different pain points guys that that 
these different apps kind of offer and kind of try and uh, please. So next one, guys, this one called Drop Wow. Um, I just someone on their website. And basically the one that I noticed with this one, the kind of key feature that kind of stood out, this one kind of takes its pride in quality. Um, at least they, you know, like that, that's their kind of, uh, thing that they focus on, right? So again, with uh, Spocket, they're focusing on suppliers, um, basically like near your your customers, right? Like who you're selling to so that you get faster shipping times, okay? AliExpress Dropshipping, like this app back here, right? This one was kind of focused just on allowing you to import products from different sort of areas, right? So Amazon, eBay, Walmart, that kind of stuff. Um, and then with this one, guys, this one's kind of taking a focus on quality control. Um, so as you can see, you know, they, they, so like they basically vet their suppliers that they have on their platform so that you're not necessarily, necessarily like shipping, you know, like a product, right? So, um, that might help, you know, with, with returns that might reduce your return rate, stuff like that. Um, but that's this one. That's like the key one in this one. Um, again, they all, you know, import products. They all basically have somewhat automated fulfillment. Um, and then this one, you know, kind of takes its stance in terms of like quality where it vets suppliers. Um, you know, they give you a, a warranty and a refund policy that, that you can, you know, feel comfortable with. Um, stuff like that, guys. And then this last one is called Dropified. So this one was actually formerly known as Shopified, I believe, which is pretty popular. And then I believe Shopify delisted this app, but you can still get it on your store. You just can't search it in the app store. So that's why I'm on their website. Um, if anyone, like if, if I'm incorrect, you know, feel free to correct me in the comments, but that's what I think is the deal, right? But again, with Dropified, this one, um, the key difference with this one that I think is super helpful is the fact that you can basically do essentially, you know, one click order fulfillment. So this one's kind of pain point that it's trying to please for, for us as a business owner is that, you know, it doesn't want us to basically like, for example, like for me, I have virtual assistants, right? And again, cause I, I don't use Dropify, but um, if I was using this, I wouldn't necessarily have to have virtual assistants like fulfilling my orders, right? Cause again, with this one, um, they have basically three different modes. Again, I'll just show you guys um, on the features here, but essentially, so you see, so they have a thing called one click ordering and three different ordering modes, okay? So basically, again, like what it says here is you see step by step, which means like I'm assuming you just have to fill in information. Um, one click and then one click with shipping selection. So, you know, if you have to, you know, be very picky whether or not products are going in e packet or whether, you know, you're doing DHL for some reason, um, which is very expensive. So don't recommend that, but, you know, e packet or AliExpress shipping or supplier standard shipping, stuff like that. Um, then they, they give you that option, guys. So the key one with this one, guys, again, they, they do have a lot of features, but like most of these apps um, across the board, they're all competitors, like have um, a lot of these features across the board. They just have, you know, one or two different variations that kind of um, are targeting different people, right? So again, just to recap, Dropified, these guys will basically help you, um, you know, ease up your time basically with like actual one click ordering, um, which is really nice. I know guys, again, Oberlo is the market leader though. So basically what that means is like guys, Oberlo like literally has a team of 60 plus people. Um, so most of you guys that are looking, you know, for alternatives to Oberlo, I'm assuming have some sort of pain point that, you know, you're really frustrated with. Um, and Oberlo does try and make changes, I guess, like updates because like I've, I've talked to Oberlo customer support because I use Oberlo very, very much. And, you know, they are always constantly making changes, trying to basically please us as business owners because they themselves, you know, drop ship as well um, so that they can try and improve their product. Right. So that's that. But basically, guys, like Oberlo Supply, for example, they vet their suppliers, which kind of combats drop wow where you know their quality control is kind of the thing and then you know even with dropified where they got one click ordering you can then compare that to overloads or like in overload supply again less products to choose from but with that you can do automated fulfillment as well where you don't really need to order even by clicking it's similar to print on demand where you get the order and it's just right sent to the uh, supplier um, for shipment and whatnot but that's that and then, again guys if you don't want to use overload have a really good reason like i i personally vouch for using overload just because it's it, I think it's a great product. Um, obviously, right, you have to get virtual assistants to do your order fulfillment if you're not using Oberlo Supply because there's less product there. But um, again, with Oberlo Supply, which is basically like a, a, a platform inside of Oberlo, guys, um, for those of you that are new, right, um, that basically is the section where Oberlo will talk to suppliers, basically vet them, make sure they're like quality and good, list their product on there, and then any product that you have from Oberlo Supply that you have on your website, if a customer purchases it, it'll go right to the supplier. You don't need to worry about it at all, um, which is very similar to print on demand. So if you know if you ever get an order, it just goes right to the to the printing company, right? So that's that. So again, guys, Oberlo is always trying to make changes because I mean I literally think they have a partnership with Shopify, guys. So um, I, like they, they're basically going to remain the market leaders, quote unquote, but 
all these apps do offer you know different products per se um, and there's different pain points that they're trying to help you guys out with okay guys so that is the video of you know different overload alternatives i hope you guys enjoyed um if you guys are switching out of overload and just you know using something else or you guys um are you know using a different app for drop shipping from you know um overseas or just different products per se not print on demand let me know in the comments guys as always this was your boy that is leave a like don't forget to comment i respond to everybody's comments believe it or not and don't forget to subscribe guys i'm grinding out this video it's literally six in the morning okay six a.m and i got content pumping out for you guys so that is the video guys hope you guys enjoy i will see you guys in the next one we're doing a video today don't forget to check out the zero to 1k free wait list guys that's literally it's a free thing where me and my boy sebastian who's also a youtuber um we're basically walking through a store taking it to 100k in sales and then we have you know the first partition portion which is the 1000 like zero to 1000 walkthrough um again completely free for you guys so don't forget to sign up for that guys join the wait list and uh uh, yeah, guys, there's free marketing courses I have down below as well that you guys can hop into. Um, that'll just you know, help you out, be beneficial and whatnot. And um, I do have a course. It's not listed down below just because I don't want to push that on you guys. But there's one available. If you're smart, if you want it, you'll be able to find it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool.